fascism, Trumpism, Hitler, Mussolini, the so-called far right. In, in Canada, we don't think of it as being here, but it's here. I'm doing this video for the children of the future, perhaps 200 years from now. They don't look evil. They go to church every Sunday, except in a pandemic. But even then, they may. They may. On the surface, you've known them for 20, 30 years. Lovely, beautiful people that you admire and respect. Successful, hardworking, children all well-educated, scientists, musicians, doctors, lawyers. They don't look evil. It doesn't occur to you that if Mussolini was alive, they would be supporting him. Today they support Trump. And I'm talking about Canada. I had the shock of my life to discover someone I really care about is an inherent fascist and evil. They don't believe in human rights. They don't fight for justice and proud of it. They watch as people helplessly are robbed. Victims of fraud. And I'm talking about me. And they didn't care. Didn't lift a finger. No. Because they don't believe in justice, you see. They think of themselves as the good people. But they're evil. They don't care about the disease that gas, oil, and diesel is causing. The poisoning of our planet. The poisoning of our children. Of our air. Of our food. And our water. And our beverages. They don't care. But on the face of it, they are devout Christians. Kind of a dichotomy. Jesus Christ certainly was not a fascist. But you'd never know it. Looking at today's Christian fascist. They're dangerous because they are the majority. And the terrible disease that is flourishing is because of these Christians, fascists. Now in the United States, They'll stick a gun in your face. They're very violent. And so you think that's what a fascist is. No. A fascist goes to church, is a devout Christian. And on the surface, you will know and love them for 30 years and not know how black and evil they really are. They're extremely dangerous. And that's fascism today, right here, right now. And that's the same fascist that supported Hitler. I have friends that I loved and that loved me. And I realize now, they supported Hitler.
Dan says, I've always been very naive. I guess so. I believe in justice, human rights. I don't believe in polluting. I don't believe in poisoning. I don't believe in causing disease. And I don't believe in making money when it's going to cause a destruction to the planet and to the very life of our species. Something wrong with me. I have no supporters. But I know there's others like me out there. We're just very few in number. We have something called the Green Party. Well, they're pathetic. They really are pathetic. There was a wonderful doctor in the Yukon. She would have made an amazing president of the Green Party. She's a Canadian. She works with the natives. She understands what the, the pollution and the poisoning and industry is doing to our planet and to Canada. She understands that our natural resources are being shipped off and sold off to foreigners and that it's wrong. Instead, we have somebody who's from another country, an immigrant, and doesn't know the first thing about Canada. I don't know how she got there. But that's who the leader of our party is. It's very strange. I tried to find something about her that would make sense. But I can't. But I will vote green, even though I know it's a waste of time. Because I can't in good conscience vote for anybody else. I call it the throwaway vote. At least I give them a voice. Well, God help me. I am surrounded by fascists and didn't know it. They were people that I loved. You'd think it would have occurred to me when my mother was being robbed of her home and my lawyer was robbing me and cheating me. And I'm not talking my current lawyer, all right? I'm talking my previous one. Trent Faldine, that even the police said to me, he's committing fraud, but it's legal. And there isn't a thing they can do about it. My brother was committing fraud. Income tax fraud. But he did it in such a way that it was legal. And all those people, thousands of them, and every member of parliament knew it was going on and didn't care. But more importantly, my friends didn't care either. Well, I'm a fish out of water and as helpless as a beached whale. And I don't know why I'm bothering. But children, beware. The fascist in your midst goes to church and appears to be a good person. But they're not. They will support the destruction of this planet and the future of our species. I don't know what took me so long. I'll get over it. But right now, 
I'm heartsick and shocked. I just don't seem to recognize the evil. I didn't recognize the rapist who held me hostage. I didn't recognize the policeman that was my friend that raped me. And I survived. I'm still here. And I've lived with dying for over 74 years. My first attack, I was six years old. And one of thousands I took yesterday, I came that close to dying. And I'm still here. The prophets told me I'm here to educate, to discover the truth, and to expose it. Well, it feels like too little too late. But maybe 200 years from now, everything that I have discovered about the evil within our society, someone will find a way to change the laws and make it impossible for these fascists to continue. God help the children. The chronic illnesses that we have created will flourish. They'll give it a lot of names. Mine is called Parkinsonism. There's cancer. There's so many. We're going to, are we going to give a name to the long haulers of COVID? I don't know. But it's all the same disease. Cheminosis, first discovered in 1775. And it was ignored by the same fascist that is your neighbor and your friend that is ignoring it today. And God help those who fight back. They are our salvation. And they are truly God's children. <laughs>